Hi, this is Spring with Spring Taylor Fitness, and today I'm going to demonstrate the scapular depression. Scapular depression is going to be really important for anyone who sits all day. It's also vital for keeping your posture and your posterior chain healthy, especially once you start lifting hard. To perform the scapular depression, you'll place your feet six inches from the wall. You'll want to keep your fingertips, your wrist, and your elbows pressed flat against the wall as you gently slide your hands up and down. The objective is to keep your back pinched together at the scapula in order to keep the wrist and the fingertips glued to the wall. Try not to bend the wrists, keep everything in line, your knees slightly bent as your back is flat against the wall, sliding your hands up and down. Again, place your feet six inches from the wall and gently slide your hands up and down, focusing on pressing the shoulder blades back and the shoulders down. Another way to perform the scapular depression is lying on your stomach. This is called a prone scapular depression. You'll want to keep your nose facing the floor, your spine in line. Remember, don't move the wrists or the elbows up. You want to keep the fingertips, the wrists, and the elbows in line. To engage the glutes, you can lift your legs, and if you also want to engage the inner thigh, keep the heels pressed together as you gently raise your hands forward and backward. A more advanced version of the scapular depression is using the exercise ball. Gently lay prone against the ball, keeping your feet wide. Your spine will be in line, your nose facing the ground, and gently press your hands forward and back. Squeezing your scapula back and you're keeping everything in line. If you have any questions about the scapular depression or online personal training, you can check me out at springtellerfitness.com or hit me up on Instagram at springtellerfitness. Keep working hard!